So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to symbolize raster layer in QGIS. So first of all, let us the let us add the raster layer. On the top, you can find the option layer. Under that, you can find add layer. After selecting add layer, you can find the option add raster layer. Select it. After selecting the raster layer, you can see a small button on the right hand side corner where you can browse the data and you can select the data which you are interested in. So this is a raster data which is representing the elevation. So let me add the data. So I have downloaded it from the USGS Earth Explorer and it is an SRTM based data and it is 30 meter resolution. Let me add the data. Click on add here. And after adding it, you can find over here. So here you can find uh, the uh, two colors are uh, being used. One is a uh, black color and uh, another one is uh, white color. So you can see it has been uh, clubbed together. And the white color represents the highest elevation. And the black color represents the lower elevation. You can check on over here, 1800 and 116. So in between you can find uh, gray scales. Uh, where you can see the moderate or medium values likewise. So you, in order to change this uh, raster symbology, right click on this uh, raster layer and hit the button properties. Once you hit the button properties, you can find the option symbology. So from the top, you can find the option third. So in the third, you can see the symbology. Here you can see so it has been now been given given in that render type has been given in single band gray. Here you can find the few information. So this is a single band raster. So we'll be uh, discussing about the multiple band raster. We'll be dis discussing in the upcoming videos. And you can see here color gradient. It has been in uh, black to white. If you want to change it to white to black, you can change it over here. And you can see the minimum value and maximum value of this raster. This uh, minimum maximum represents the elevation. So the elevation is uh, 1812. And here the minimum elevation is 116. So here you can see in the render type single band gray. Here we are going to use single pseudo color. After selecting the single pseudo color, here you can see. In the option interpolation, you can find now it is in uh, linear. So let us uh, set it in linear and uh, you can check the color ramp. You can use any of this color ramp. So based on your interest, if you want to use more color ramps, you can click on the option all color ramps. Here you will be getting some more color ramps which you can be used. So in this uh, tutorial, I'll be using this color ramps turbo. And after selecting it, you can see here continuous. So I need it in equal interval. So after selecting equal interval, you can see there are around five classes are available. So it has been equally spreaded. So now you can see if you want, you can increase the classes. For example, uh, I need uh, the classes to be in uh, 15. So you can see here 15 classes has been created. Each class represent a value, elevation value. Likewise you can do. If you want uh, to, uh, for example, if you want to remove this value, you just you can just click here and you can use this button to remove the selected row. Or if you want to add it, you can uh, use this option add values manually. Now let me apply it and show you how the data looks like. You can see here how the data is looking like here. Here the uh, minimum value is dark blue and the maximum value is dark brown. So it represents the elevation of the region. The darker, uh, darker blue represents the very uh, low elevated regions and the darker brown represents the high elevated region, highest elevated region. So in between colors represents the values. For example, you can find the uh, light green color to be uh, in the medium value. Medium value showing the elevation, medium elevation. Likewise, you can use such things. If you want, you can use quantile. 
and uh, let me have this in 15 classes let me apply it you can see here so it has been uh, smoothly classified as you can just use this such options to to explore the data how it looks like and how it can be presented in a easy understandable manner so you can just check in over here this is the quantile quantile mode so once again you can see the option interpolation here you can select the option discrete here you can get it you can get the values in ranges for example you can check here so these are the range of values if you want to use you can use a range of values let me apply it you can just check in over here how the data looks like likewise you can do so it has been given in ranges quantile if you want you can select it equal interval so the interval will be equal you can just check in let me apply it and show you you can just check it here you can also use the extract exact you can you will be getting the values exactly likewise you can symbolize the raster layer so you once you have selected extract exact well, you will be only shown the values for example you will be only shown 843964 let me apply it and show you you can see here you can find these small dots on the screen over here uh, so here only this values will be shown that is why the screen looks like looks empty but uh, you can see a small dots can be found on the screens only those values will be shown so that is that is the difference uh, while using the extract so let me switch over to the linear itself so likewise you can uh, symbolize the raster and you can see the option legend settings you can select the legend settings if you want to have the prefix for example if you want to add a prefix you can add a prefix for example let me add it high and you can set the minimum and maximum values let me close this once you can see here you can see the value out here now let me once again click on the properties and hit the button legend settings here in prefix i am setting high and you can choose the minimum and maximum value which has to be shown for example i need the minimum value to be around 100 and 120 and the maximum value i need is 1800 so i can select it accordingly and uh, if you want you can uh, uh, use the number format you can customize it here in the category you can select general category if you want bearing you can select bearing if you want uh, in currency you can select currency accordingly fractions percentage and scientific so you can choose any of this uh, following to uh, label your legends here let me add the number and if you want you can select increase or decrease the uh, decimal places uh, for example here i need just only one so i'm going to select one decimal place you can use the you can select show thousand separator you can use the uh, uh, show plus sign or uh, you can use the show trailing zeros likewise you can select accordingly let me click ok you can also customize the fonts by clicking the option font you can customize it you can uh, want to select the font you can select it accordingly here it is in uh, linear so let me put it to agency fb just and try click ok ok after doing so so let us see how the uh, legend looks like let me apply it you can see here so the high value is 1800 and the low value is 1200 so i am not exactly uh, use this uh, how to represent the how to use the prefix and uh, suffix uh, option 
so if you know that you can use accordingly so we'll be discussing uh, some more uh, things in the upcoming videos where we'll be discussing about the multi band colors uh, plated unique values so we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos you can see here hill shade option you can also use the hill shade option and let me show you how it looks like here you are you're going to just uh, give the altitude so let it be in the default itself symbology yeah hill shade now let me apply it you can just see here how it looks like this is the hill shade effect if you want you can use it will be up, uh, covering it in the upcoming videos where i'll be discussing about this uh, each of the option uh, more uh, precisely so thanks for watching terra special if you do have any doubts please to ask in the comment section i'll be answering to your questions goodbye everyone